Hello and welcome to the cottage. So as you can see in the camera, I have got my beautiful Joy with me today. And I'm pretty sure you guys all know Joy because I feature her in a lot of my videos. Um, because she is such a joy. <laughs> such a joy. Um, anyway, Joy is going to be the um, representative of my nursery for Pride Month. And for those of you who don't know, the month of June is, um, is well, here in Canada, um, I'm not actually 100% sure if it's the same in the U.S. or other countries, but here in Canada, Pride Month is, um, is in June. Um, and I am going to be getting her dressed and taking some photographs of her for my um, Private Ladies Facebook group. And I just thought she was the perfect representative of Pride Month because, well, I mean, <laughs> look at that face. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I have got the cutest outfit for her, you guys. Oh, my goodness gracious. I bought this outfit, like, quite a while ago because I actually dressed um, Jasmine in it for Pride um, Month last year for my Dolly Facebook group um, banner. And I'm just going to show you, it is, it is a beautiful sunny yellow sweatshirt and it says rainbow power and look at, it's got a cute little cl fluffy cloud and then this gorgeous rainbow um, applique on the front of it. So that's the top. And then, oh my gosh, these pants, <laughs> they're so cute. They're heather gray, and they've got little rainbows all over them. Yeah, so sweet. And then I'm going to put this bright headband on her. And I've got some little loveys for her that I picked up at a craft fair. I've got a little rainbow and a little sun that are um, crocheted. And I'm going to be taking some beautiful pictures um, for... Um, well, like I said, for the banner um, on my ladies' Facebook group um, for Pride Month. And I've actually got some little socks, too. Just some little Gerber cotton socks because, um, well, you guys know how I feel about my Gerber cotton socks. I love them. And I actually need to buy another pack next time I go to Walmart because I don't know those things. They just seem to disappear. <laughs> I don't know why, but they do. Anyway, um, I'm going to get her dress. She's in this Spanish knit, absolutely gorgeous Spanish knit outfit. And I'm not, I'm seriously not going to have an easy time taking this off of her because it is so adorable. Auntie Jenny sent this to her and she's been in it for weeks because it's just so so cute on her I just can't even get over it it's just oh so adorable okay that's really strange she's not wearing a onesie I am kind of shook actually because I never ever um dress my babies without a onesie on. I wonder why I, I did that. Very strange. I may have to go into my handy dandy onesie drawer and pick one out for her because um, she doesn't have one on. And as I always tell you guys, I am a onesie mummy. My babies always, always have white or, you know, really light colored onesies on um, because I just like how it protects their bodies and um, Joy has a white body so I particularly like to keep her body protected oh my gosh you guys I love this girl so much I love her so much okay I'm just gonna go into the drawer here and um, see if I can find a 
I've got a whole stack. I see one right. I just opened the drawer and I saw exactly what I was looking for. And it's brand new. Brand spanking new. Chickpea. My all time favorite. Look at this. Little bunny <laughs> with an embroidered bunny on it. How cute. I can't even stand it. The cuteness. Anyway, this was a three pack and I haven't even used one yet because I bought them for my two silicone girls and I just can't seem to change them out of their white onesies. I don't, I just don't even know you guys. I still haven't gotten past that whole, oh, you know, I don't want to, <laughs> you know, damage them or I don't know. I got to get over myself. So we'll get this on her. And, uh, yeah, get her all dressed, and then she's going to have a little photo shoot. And, um, unfortunately, it's overcast today, so it's not the greatest lighting for a photo shoot, but I think it will be okay, because I have got the ring light on and the overhead lights, and, and, um, so I don't, I don't have an actual topic. Um, usually prior to me making a video, you know, I, I think I'm going to turn her this way, to be honest. It would be a lot easier if I turned her this way. God, you got to love this girl. She's always giggling, which is why I call her Joy. Um, yeah, I don't have an actual topic, which I usually always do. Um, well, you know what? I guess I do kind of have a topic that I like to um, bring up once in a while on one of my videos, you know, when I'm not, you know, really stuck on something, some particular topic. And that is what, because, you know, the, the whole reason why I'm here, the whole reason why I, you know, take time out of my day to make videos for you guys um, is because I just so enjoy, I just so enjoy you guys, you know, watching my videos, commenting on my videos, liking my videos. I mean, you know, building friendships, you know, on, uh, from, from, you know, getting to know you guys and, um, so, you know, I, I, it's always me. <laughs> I mean, obviously you can't talk back. If I can learn how to do lives, then you guys can actually start talking back to me, which would be so cool. But, um, but I do read every single comment. And even if I don't comment back and I just, you know, put a little heart, I have read from beginning to end, um, your comments. I never, ever um, you know, miss a comment. Um, even if I don't comment back, you know, usually it's because I'm on the fly, but anyway, I do like to hear from you guys. And what I would like to hear is what type of videos, because I, my, my, my mind never stops working. Like it literally never stops working. I mean, it keeps me up at night sometimes just with all the thinking that goes on in my head. And, um, and one of those things that I think about aside from, you know, worrying about my kids and worrying about my grandkids and, and worrying about if my, you know, crops are growing or whatever. Um, one thing I think a lot about is, you know, what type of videos would you guys like to see on my channel? Like I try and do, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of everything, you know, some outings and, um, you know, I, I'm going to start doing now that the weather is getting better. I'm going to start doing some outings with the babies rather than just, you know, going shopping myself. Um, I'm going to start taking the babies out a lot more to, you know, really cool places like the beach and, and, you know, thrifting and, my favorite baby shops and uh, so you know I try and do some of that and you know I try and not 
just just do changing videos I mean I myself really enjoy changing videos particularly um, you know when the the person who's doing the changing is you know talking um, you know talking and you know either telling stories about about their dolls or their their collection or what whatever whatever they want to talk about but um, I would really like to hear from you guys um, down below in the comments what you would like to see on my channel like is there any particular baby that you'd like me to to show on my channel is there any type of um, you know content I mean I, I one thing that I've not yet done on my channel is I have not done a feeding uh, you know bottle feeding um, with either of my silicones um, I haven't done that yet. Um, like what, you know, what types of things would you like to see? You know, is there any particular baby you'd like to see more of? Or is there any type of, you know, because I'm, I'm pretty much open to, to, um, you know, whatever. I mean, I don't do like actual role play on my videos because, um, I don't know, <laughs> I mean, I really enjoy watching it. I watch a lot of channels that do role play, and I, and, you know, and I find it really, really cute. Um, but uh, I myself don't really do it because I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm shy um, to do that. You know, in my old channel, um, you know, the 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 bunny cottage that I had prior to um, deleting and then starting over. Um, I did some role play videos and um, this girl has a, the most amazing honey blonde mono rooted hair. The prototype artist that created her, she really, really knew her stuff. Like her hair is just, it's so, it's so soft and it's just it's just so beautifully rooted. So, so beautifully rooted. And I just love the color. I think if you've watched her box opening video, I actually commented while I was opening her and probably crying because <laughs> I tend to do that during box openings. Um, that uh, if, if I had gotten her as a custom, which of course I didn't because she's been sold out for years, her sculpt, um, and I purchased her from a very dear friend of mine, her original mommy, who had her done as a custom. Um, I, I had said that if if I had been able to do the custom choices, like hair color, eye color, skin tone, this is exactly how I would have done the Maisie sculpt, because she is the Maisie sculpt. I would have done her like this, with this, you know, kind of honey blonde hair and her gorgeous, gorgeous eyes, which are like a almost a navy blue they're a real deep deep blue and I love them and they're just amazing you know glass like there's they they twinkle they twinkle which works really well because with her smiley face it kind of goes you know the twinkling eyes and the big big smile okay it's really hard to tell if I'm doing an okay job on this or not um, anyway, yeah, I would like to hear from you guys down below. Like, it, it, you know, is there a baby that I haven't shown in a while that you'd like to see? Um, you know, is there, like, what types of things would you like to see more around the farm? Um, or around the cottage? Or, you know, would you like to, like, like, what would you like to see? Um, you know, I'd even give role play a try again if that was something that interested you guys. Like, if you kind of think that you would get a kick out of seeing that, I would certainly be open to that. <laughs> I would probably feel a little bit um, shy <laughs> about doing that. But, um, you know, for you guys, I would certainly give that a try. Now, I'm going to get her to look up at you because she's looking down. She has a heavy head, you guys. I really need to take some of the weighting out of her head, but I just can't bear to pop her head off. I'm telling you, I just can't do it. 
I don't know. I just feel like, you know, she was being insulted. But, oh, my gosh, look how cute she looks. Look, I was just going to get her dressed by myself because I wanted to do this photo shoot for, for um, my group. And then I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll just throw the camera on and, and get her dressed and chat with you guys. And um, like I said, I didn't have a topic today, um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, my allergies are starting to really kick in. Um, but yeah, that is a request, um, from me to you guys, please comment down below and, you know, let me know if, is there something that you would like to, for me to do like a nursery tour or, you know, or a baby that you haven't seen for a while or, you know, or a different type of baby, like my cabbage patch dolls, my soft sculpture cabbage patch dolls, or Bring on the Goofy Girls. Um, if you don't know who the Goofy Girls are, they are Hope and Faith, my two Ash and Drake um, baby girls who are always into mischief. Like, always into mischief, those two. Like, they drive me over the bend, but I love them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care.